Hi, it's Chris with Implied Music. There's a subset of the circle of fifths, very common theoretical teaching tool called the Harmonic Highway. It sounds like something from the Wizard of Oz, right? Follow the yellow brick road. Super useful for us in the diatonic scale. Let's look at it today. <laughs> All right, like, first I have to say this. It's a hot one here today in Northern California. I've got the windows in the front open behind the camera. You'll probably hear trucks coming and going, people pushing their baby carriages. The windows are open behind me. Now, I record this with a shotgun mic. It's pretty focused. I use Brus Free, which is a great noise reduction plug-in. I highly recommend it. Little compression, little sibilance control. We try to make this sound as good as possible. It's important to me. But you're going to hear noise today. I'd be willing to bet. Noise is okay. Sound is fine, just the way it is. So listen, take a look at this. Everyone has seen the circle of fifths before. You may start anywhere on any note. C in this case. And if you just go up a fifth, or start on C and go down a fourth, you'll get what's called the circle of fifths. C, G, D, A, E, B. At F sharp, we could change mentally F sharp, G flat, and harmonic equivalents. F sharp, G flat, and then up to D flat, A flat, E flat, B flat, F, C. It's a fairly familiar sound. The circle of fifths. Here's what I want you to notice, though, for today. I'm going to skip over to this image here. Now, I've yellow-coded all of the notes of the C scale. C, D, E, F, G. You get the idea. A, B. If I go around the circle of fifths, I go one back and one, and then continue forward, I get a slice of the pie for the whole scale. And this is going to be true for every scale, of course. We would just take that yellow dot series and rotate it around a little bit. Now, that collection is called the harmonic highway. Now, why does it work? Well, it works because of this. We know that five, in this case, G in the key of C, goes to one. It's an authentic cadence sometimes called a terminal cadence. It's sort of the most important sort of function in functional harmony. In fact, this tritone here that's in the G7 chord really wants to collapse inward. Those two notes move into C and E. The half steps, the tension of the tritone releases and resolves into the C chord. Well, here's the thing. G we know goes to C, but what goes to G? Well, a fifth up from G is D, so D, D minor 7, goes to G. Goes to G7, goes to C. What's 5 up from D? It's A. Okay. A7 goes to D minor 7, goes to G7, goes to C. A7... D minor 7, G7, C. It works every time. What's the 5 of A? A, 5 up from A is E. E minor 7, A7, D minor 7, G7. I'm playing increasingly complicated chords, aren't I? Adding 9ths and 13ths. Sounds kind of jazzy, doesn't it? E minor 7, A7, D minor 7, G7, to C. C is the 5 of F, so I played C7 to F. E minor 7, A7, D minor 7, G7 to C. The harmonic highway provides us with a easy way to work within the circle of fifths and still be in a diatonic system. Now, you probably noticed that I twisted a couple of the chords. I turned them into dominants. I turned the 
A into a dominant chord, didn't I? E minor 7, A7 dominant, that C sharp is not in the chord, but it sounds awesome, so we do it. It's normal. And then D minor 7, G7 with a flat 9, why not? C6, 9. And we could extend the idea a little bit further. For instance, what's the 5 of E? B minor 7? Well, that F sharp really doesn't belong in the key of C, um, but it's not such a bad thing. And we can go further than that. What's the 5 of B? F sharp. Let's make it F sharp half diminished. That gives me a flat 5 and a 7. And that's a fairly normal sound, actually, in this context. I went F sharp half diminished. B seven, maybe even like an altered B7, E minor seven, A7, D minor seven, G7 flat nine to C six nine. Those are solid voicings, and I've basically gone around the circle of fifths, and what I've used is the harmonic highway. This is something that my teacher called it. Is it called the harmonic highway in books? I don't know. <laughs> I think it might be. I'm not sure. The harmonic highway. It's the section of the diatonic scale whose notes are part of the circle of fifths. And it always is on the pi, like we saw earlier. Now, because the harmonic highway works the way it does, we can um, toss in tritone substitutions to create some pretty interesting effects. And this is the last thing I'm going to show you guys. So here we go. Uh, we know that any dominant chord um, can be uh, substituted by the dominant chord a tritone away because two of the notes are important. For instance, G7 has this B and F. And as it turns out, those two notes are the seventh and third of D flat seven. D flat seven and G7, they substitute for each other. Well, check out this great smooth move. So here's my F sharp half diminished, right? It would ordinarily go to B, B7, but instead I'm gonna to go to F7. F7 is a tritone substitution for it. E minor seven, <laughs> makes sense, right? Because five, the five of E is B. And uh, the next thing would be A7, but I'm gonna play E flat seven, it's a tritone substitution for the A. D minor seven, D flat seven, it's a tritone substitution for the G seven. C, I just played roots that went down F sharp to F to E to E flat to D to D flat to C, and it sounds great in context. Very jazzy sound, and resolutions love to sink. They love to fall down, down, down. Well, I hope this has been useful. Like and subscribe. This is functional harmony. It most often appears in jazz, but it, it appears in tiny little cycles in pop and soul, R&B, kind of everywhere. The harmonic highway is your friend, and it's been present in popular music, uh, in songs and Broadway songs from the 30s, 40s, 50s, up to the present. Like and subscribe and ding the bell. You'll be notified when I do new videos. Although those of you who are following me know I do videos all the time. <laughs> I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.